Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Extreme Performance Series video blogs. My name is Todd Muirhead, and today I have Lon with me. Lon, can you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick? Uh, my name is Lan Vu, and I'm working at VMware for nine years at Performance Engineering Team. And uh, currently, my primary focus is on machine learning AI uh, in this year. Very cool. I, so the, every every time I've talked to you about the, the, the stuff that you're working on, it's very interesting, uh, cutting edge uh, performance. So what are we going to talk about specifically today? How to optimize and scaling machine learning in VMware sphere with Tanzu. Awesome. So let's get started. Yeah, so uh, with this video blog, um, we would like to introduce the support of NVIDIA AI Enterprise in VMware Tanzu. Uh, basically, Tanzu is a cloud-native uh, application platform provided in vSphere. And uh, with Tanzu, um, um, organization can centralize and scale cloud-native operation fast and secure. And uh, with this um, uh, talk today, we will focus on machine learning um, workload in vSphere with Tanzu. Here, I would like to show the diagram of NVIDIA AI Enterprise in vSphere with Tanzu. The deployment of machine learning and AI have become real challenging because it requires a seamless integration of multiple different components in data center, like hardware and software components, increasing demand of uh, de delivering latest technology and machine learning and AI ahead make the machine learning infrastructure become more complex. Uh, for example, deep learning or generative AI, which is a latest trend. NVIDIA and, and VMware have been worked together so that we can provide an integrated solution that uh, allow the deployment of machine learning infrastructure fast and reduce the efforts and costs uh, for viewing infrastructure and machine learning infrastructure in your organization. In Tanzu, uh, we support most latest uh, GPUs like A100 and L L40 or S100 for, for your workload. And Tanzu, uh, one of the most important components is TKG or Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Uh, it allows us to orchestrate and manage containerized workload with Kubernetes without the need of like installing the Kubernetes uh, separately because it already integrates in Tanzu. And in this context, we can deploy machine learning and AI workload with Kubernetes in Tanzu. Uh, to deploy uh, the GPU enabled workload with NVIDIA AI Enterprise, we will need to install uh, NVIDIA GPU operator after we deploy the TKG cluster. NVIDIA GPU operator is help to automate the management of all NVIDIA software component to provision GPU or vGPU. This component including NVIDIA driver, Kubernetes uh, device plugin for GPU, NVIDIA container toolkit, and many other component that required to enable NVIDIA AI Enterprise. Because of that, all the process have been automated, so we don't have to do the installation separately. And it, it makes the, your task when you scale the machine learning workload with more nodes become uh, faster and easier. We will focus on uh, provide uh, a performance study that we have been done in Tanzu environment with the focus on machine learning and AI workload. Select several like well-known machine learning workload for our experiments. First one is Masca CNN, which is an object detection application uh, based on deep learning convolution neural networks. Uh, second is RNNT, which is a type of text-to-speech application and BERT, a language processing application, which is like a smaller model uh, compared to generative AI with like last language model, but it's, it's the same form of like a language processing. For uh, test bed in our experiments, we have a cluster with three Dell server. Each server have the AMD CPU and one A100 GPU. And we installed uh, in this cluster with like vSphere a, a U1. And in some tests, we have vSphere 7 U3 as well. And we deploy in our cluster uh, Kubernetes with like multiple nodes. It's not uh, running uh, Ubuntu 2004. What is the Tanzu aspect of? this test. With Tanzu here, the benefits of Tanzu is help us to deploy a Kubernetes cluster upfront and easier and it's help us to 
provision the VM node with like support GPU or VGPU in, in our context without the need of manual install NVIDIA driver and other components, as I mentioned. It have the Kubernetes in, integrate into it. So even though in the previous slide you had a lot of components that were shown, all those are actually automatically installed or, or configured as part of this one step process? Yes. Yeah. We we will need to some do early configuration and uh, define the Kubernetes node config. And then when it's ready, and then in other operation in Kubernetes, we just deploy the cluster on provision on the node, YAM5, similar way that we manage in, in Kubernetes. Okay, cool. Yep. With this experiment, we test the machine learning workload in two scenarios. The first one is we deploy ML workload in the very traditional way with NVIDIA AI Enterprise. In this context, that like we don't enable Tanzu and we don't deploy with like Kubernetes. It's just like the workload running in, in container. A second case is we enable everything in Tanzu environment and have the Kubernetes for manage the workload. In the context of uh, Tanzu, we have some additional component running in, in our test for Kubernetes and Tanzu management. And for, for those reasons, then you may wonder, is there any overhead? of deploying Tanzu. So that's the purpose of this test that I show here. You can see the throughput show here is almost identical, just the one or two percent differences, which is like uh, zero overhead. In, in our test, Tanzu is slightly better compared to without Tanzu. You can deploy Tanzu without concern about the performance. Here I just show inference, but the training is provide the same consistent uh, result where uh, they're no different in terms between with and without Tanzu deployment. So here you get the advantages of Tanzu, but you don't, there's no, there's no performance penalty for using it. Yeah, we don't have to pay the performance penalty, but we leverage on the benefit of the Tanzu bring into the table. So we also do a comparison uh, against with vSphere 7 to see the differences. And here I show the, the training of uh, Masca CNN workload. And you can see that vSphere 8, it delivered the better performance from uh, 6 to 7 percent in terms of both training time and throughput. For the training time, the lower, the better. And for throughput, we have the higher, the better. And we see that the benefit in both training and throughput is that's a really nice performance bump uh six yeah. seven percent just from an upgrade yeah with the upgrade that we see the slightly improve in performance i i want to note that the the difference is not just in vSphere as well but the upgrade of the nvidia drivers the benefit of both newer driver and newer vSphere we see the performance benefit for training and now it's inference you know, we see about two percent improvement for both inference time and, and throughput the next part I would like to discuss about how to optimize uh, machine learning workload in Tanzu. In vSphere, we can enable GPU in VM to run machine learning workload with two options. First is a vGPU only and second with a mic vGPU. We can do the same thing with the environment without Tanzu and with Tanzu, we can also have two of these options. The key differences of these two options is the way that GPU have been shared among VM. For the case of vGPU, it parties allow multiple VM can share the physical device based on time slicing. And we have three different scheduling algorithms, which is best for fixed share and equal share. Memory is equal partition among the VGPU or among VMs. Uh, for the case of mix with VGPU, it's a partition both a memory and compute. For those reasons, then each workload can allow to use a subset of GPU memory and subset of GPU compute. And because of these differences in the way of like scheduling the workload, sharing the same physical GPU device, then it will have the different impact in terms of performance when we run the workload on GPU using either one or two of these options. And here we would like to do a test to show the differences based on this that you can pick the right one, one for your applications. In our Tanzu environment, we run two separate tests. The first one we define as a light load and we run with the back side tool to show the load is very light. We use GPU or MIG for 5C. We run concurrently for VM. The second case, we try to demonstrate the heavy workload 
with the same workload, but that's up to eight. We pick the highest profile, which is 40C or 740C. We run only single VM. Uh, the reason for different number of VM, because for the heavy workload, that the workload will utilize GPU entirely. So we just have one workload, one VM per GPU. In the case of live workload, that we can be able to enable more VM can share the same physical device. And that's why we have more VM running concurrently uh, with a smaller batch size, which is the workload is much light compared to the other case. Here's the result that showing the differences when we run test scenario with the Mascassian workload and inference time showing that like for the case up, we use VGPU than the, for the live workload, then the inference time must higher, which is about 60% higher compared to the mix. In those case, it means that for the lightweight workload, we better to pick a mix a VGPU for, for your workload. For the case of heavy workload, you can see that the inference time between VGPU and mix VGPU very similar or close is about 3% different in case of throughput and, and same uh, in case of uh, inference. For the heavy workload, it's, it's better to choose VGPU, but mix is also a reasonable option. But for the lightweight workload, it's definitely mix VGPU is the option to go. We see the similar performance impact for the case of uh, training mask in as well. For those reason, if you show that your workload doesn't utilize GPU fully, for example, your model is small, uh, your workload doesn't utilize own GPU core, then MIG is definitely a better option when you want more VM can concurrently share the GPU. It increases the consolidation of VM per GPU and, and reduce the cost of deploying ML infrastructure. One of the benefits with Tanzu is help us to scale in the workload very easy because with Kubernetes, we just have a YAM file and we apply that YAM file with the config and then on the VM with GPU enable will be auto deploying, scale up or scale down in a short period of time. Here we want to showcase the performance benefit in Tanzu. We run Masca CNN with the bus side too, which is simulate the case of very light workload. We scale different number of virtual machines from one to seven uh, using MIG VGPU. As you can see, when we have one, four or seven uh, VM running concurrently with Masca CNN, then we see the inference time almost no differences. It shows that when we have the workload is lightweight enough and we can enable seven up to seven VM running the same workload without much impact in different time. And when we compare in case of throughput, then it's a linear scale when they combine all the throughput of or on VM together, then it almost provides the linear scale with really showcase the benefits on scaling the lightweight workload in the Tanzu environment with MIG VGPU. Yeah, we would like to thank Juan and Tony, which is going to provide a lot of support for this work. Well, awesome. That was that was great information. Is there any other online resources that we might be able to point people to? We will soon publish a white paper on the same topic. We will provide this the link uh, together with the video, video blog. All right, Lon. Well, thanks for coming by and uh, spending some time uh, going over some of this great work you've been doing. Thanks to everybody else for joining us for another episode of the Extreme Performance Series. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks, everybody.